And we're live. Good evening, everyone. Dave Guerra here. It is Let's Have a Chat, Wednesday edition, and it's Walking Leader Wednesday. So good evening. We're running a little late tonight, but that's okay because we had some other awesome stuff happening just before this. And if you're following me on some of my other channels, then you'll know what I was doing. But if not, that's okay. It was still awesome, a lot of fun. And uh, we'll get to that a little bit later on. So again, Walking Leader Wednesday, I read from the good book, The Walking Leader. That's right, my book, The 20 Rules to Guide You Down the Path of Leadership Greatness. Again, it's available at uh, Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com. It's available in digital Kindle format, Nook format, and paperback format. So again, pick your copy up. So today I'm going to talk about, I'm going to read from chapter six, look, listen, learn. Throughout my basic and advanced training as a U.S. Army infantryman, all the drill sergeants and instructors worked hard, worked hard to make certain we fully understood three things to succeed as infantrymen. To look, to listen, to learn. This came in handy numerous times throughout my military career and continues to serve me in civilian life. My first duty assignment was with the United States Army's Berlin Brigade in what was then West Berlin, Germany. And it would turn out to be the best adventure of my entire adult life up to that point. And I was fresh out of basic and advanced infantry training, so I knew what my job entailed, but what I did not know was how to do it in the Berlin Brigade way. The only way was to find out how to the only way to find out how to do this was to look and listen and learn. Luckily, when I first arrived, a couple of great commissioned and non-commissioned officers helped me help guide me, as well as several of my peers who were, all, who were all still green, but had at least a few weeks ahead of me, and that definitely made all the difference. It took me about a month after arriving, at, after arriving to be fully up to speed with everyone else. Of course, I made mistakes, and I made them once, rarely twice, and then learned from those mistakes. So folks, learning, listening, and learning, it all falls into play. As a leader, we have to ensure that we don't know everything, and we have to pass that along to those that, that we lead, those that are entrusted to us. We have to pass along that we're never going to learn everything. And so don't be one of those individuals that says, well, I know everything and this is who I am and, and you need to listen to me because I know everything. No, that's not the way to lead. The way to lead is to be humble, to be honest, to be sincere, to be authentic, and most of all, to be genuine in the fact that you don't know everything. And that yes, you, even though you're in a position of leadership or people see you as a leader, they, don't, they, they understand that you don't know everything. And, and that's why we have others to do the job. That's why we have others to support what we do. That's why we have others that are more skilled, more trained in something, but yet they lack in other things. So while mo somebody might be a great presenter, they might not be a great um, accountant. Uh, while somebody might be a great accountant, they might not be a great, a pretty good, they might not be good at all as an x-ray technician. So see when I'm going, everybody has their strengths, everybody has their weaknesses, and that's how we learn. Because we look at them, we learn how, we listen to what they're doing, they show us what they're doing, and we learn from that. And then from that point on, we decide, hey, you know what, I've got it, or I don't have it. And then I ask for more, to learn more, to lead more, to be, to be more, and to do more. But it's when there's those individuals that decide, hey, no, you know what, I went to college, I got my degree, you don't have a degree, therefore I know more than you do, therefore you have to follow me. And no, that doesn't work that way. It's never gonna, it never worked that way before and it's never gonna work that way, yet many people try and many people fail. So being a little bit humble and understanding that, hey, we don't know everything and we still have a lot of looking, a lot of listening and a lot of learning left in us is the only way that we can gain the trust of those that lead, those that we lead, those that follow us, those that look in our direction, those we mentor. Because if we can be true and authentic to ourselves and we can be, then we are true and authentic to them, then you know what? We're doing a better job. We're doing a great job. We're doing more than just a good job. We are getting it done. And what we're getting done is we're making leaders that are humble, that are authentic, that are genuine, that are responsive, reactive, and know we're still not done looking, listening, and learning. We've got a long way to go. It's a challenge. I understand it is. But we have a long way to go. And when we get there, we're never going to get there. Remember that. Because there's always just that one thing more. There's always just that one thing that's left undone. 
And that's on the professional side. On the personal side, just because we're parents doesn't mean we know everything. Just because we've achieved a certain age in life does not mean we know everything. But what it does mean is we still have a lot of looking, listening, and learning. And sometimes we can learn from those that, that come after us. Our children, we learn from, I learn from my kids every day. I learn from my nieces and nephews every day. But I also learn from my brothers. I learn from my parents. I learn from my in-laws. I learn from my cousins. I learn from strangers crossing the street. I learn, but because there is still so much left to learn. And we have to be learning every day. And so we keep learning, we keep living, we keep succeeding, we keep thriving. And that's the bottom line. So folks, I'm Dave. This is Let's Have a Chat, Wednesday Walking Leader Edition. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a great evening. Oh, and uh, we'll be back on time.